All right. UTSA and Tulane. This is a good one here on Friday. Uh, Tulane, three-point home favorites, 52 the total uh, in this game. Uh, obviously, when you look at UTSA now, didn't affect them last week, clearly. But, you know, sometimes when you see that a coach might be on his way out, you know, you get a little sad and upset and really it negatively impacts your performance on the field. Certainly didn't do that for UTSA with all the Jeff Trailer rumors swirling around. But then again, most of the players on this year's team are probably out the door after as well. So uh, the fact remains, you know, you look at it, 49-21, dominant against USF, South Florida, dominant against Rice the week before that for this UTSA team. And now they're taking on a Tulane squad that, you know, they have been very, very rough and laying big numbers. And they've been in a lot of close, tight games, but they finally gained some separation last week against Florida Atlantic, uh, getting a 24-8 to win uh, in that game over the Owls. But I watched it because I was on FAU. That offense for FAU was inept. It was absolutely atrocious uh, that whole game. They had no run game whatsoever. Uh, Richardson was spotty in the passing game. Uh, and there's no doubt Tulane's defense uh, took advantage of that. We'll see how they fare here. Home finale, Tulane. I mean, to me, this is a great game. I'm excited to watch it. But I do lean UTSA, three, three and a half here. Uh, in the, and I'm actually seeing a couple books like Bet Online have three and a half now with Tulane as a, a home favorite. I like Tulane. I like Michael Pratt. And obviously, I'm a Willie Fritz guy. You guys know that. But they have not had easy uh, go of it. Uh, this season, you know, and when you look at who they faced, I don't know if they faced anyone close to as good as UTSA since they lost to Ole Miss uh, early in the season. Yeah. Um, so, and when you look at Ole Miss or sorry, UTSA, you know, they faced Tennessee they had to face a, a really good team out of the SEC in non-conference uh, and they fared pretty well. Whereas, and, and well, 45, 14, but they faced a tough team. Uh, Tulane struggled against Ole Miss. It's a really, really good game. It's going to be close. I do lean a little bit three or better. I lean UTSA here uh, in this one. Uh, what do you think here, Connor? UTSA Tulane. Yeah, I mean, with now the hook, it's like, do you want to do this? Tulane ten and one after last year, all the hype, but Bano, they've done it real quiet here. Yeah, <laughs> and these games quiet ten and one. Yeah, I it just you know, and they beat FAU covered there, not by a ton, but. You know, Tulsa by two, ECU by three, Rice by two, North Texas by a touchdown. They just haven't won, you know, games going away. Um, so, yeah, I think UTSA has ripped off, what, six, seven straight. Tulane's defense has been good at basically who they play, you know, in this conference. But I thought UTSA's defense has gotten better. They gave up some yards last week, had a couple key interceptions. Um so I think they'll be successful. This is essentially I think when you're in the AAC championship game. That is how huge this is because it's them, these two teams and SMU for, for two spots in the AAC yeah. championship game. Yeah. I don't know in the end if uh, I bet this. I think UTSA, though, can hang around, you know, especially with the hook like you talking about. There's some three and a halfs around everywhere. I think they could be in it. So, Jose, there you go. There you go. It's it's a great game, though. It is. And obviously, whoever wins this game, sure, fire is going to be uh, in the AAC championship game. Whoever loses this game, it's going to be dependent on what SMU does, uh, obviously, uh, in their game uh, this uh, weekend. Uh, as, 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 so make sure you're aware of the uh, – yeah, and they play Navy. So I'll be brutally honest. They shouldn't lose that game to Navy. They won't lose that game. I'd be shot. I'd be, I'd be absolutely flabbergasted if SMU somehow loses to Navy now, crazier things have happened. Uh, but, uh, and what that would mean, by the way, I want to point this out uh, as far as uh, Tulane did not play SMU this year. And uh, you know what? UTSA did not either. Uh, so, right. there you go. so there's going to be a different kind of tiebreaker to determine that stuff. Uh, but uh, don't forget about SMU. They've got a, what we think is a layup because they're 20 point favorites against Navy. Uh, on Saturday, but yeah, it's those three teams. The bottom line is to make it because it's complicated to make it simple. The winner of this game is absolutely playing in the AAC championship game uh, next week. No question.